My brother is in America, no be small thing. My siblings are abroad. My father and my mother, they are both in America. No be small thing, shy, shy. So people get family for here, for Nigeria, every time you ask them, they'll be like, my brother is in America, my sister is in America, my auntie is in America, my uncle is in America, my families are abroad. This is it all. I'm one of those people when no, when, when no they pretend. I don't even get time for nonsense, you know, so I keep it real. I'm not one of those people where they tell you good, 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 good things. Make your head a spark, you understand? I'm the one person will be say, I go show you that other side where nobody want to talk about. Because everybody, they, 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 they like to hold on to good in this world, you understand? You can't just hold on to good and abandon bad. You have to be willing to appreciate good. And when things are bad, you face it and fix it. You understand what I'm saying? Or if you cannot fix it, you leave it some, for somebody else to fix. This is it. My brothers in America. This one, now one name, just storage, yo. They cannot lie to you. I am into storage, public storage, real estate auction. You understand? Make a no light. I just see him every day. How people they lose their property for this land. How then they become homeless. How they go lose man, everything from birth certificates to passport to documents, college education. You think if you read Bible, today I don't pick up more than 50 Bibles. You understand? This one I want. The American Bible. You understand? American Bible that you didn't look at like this way this one has somebody furniture now somebody mattress i should see him their kitchen products every day in here this is life real life in america i'm at the storage units right now there's more than 500 storage units over here you understand and we get different location a regular team you know pay your rent they go get, you go get evicted no story the other time i think i picked up uh <laughs> what's that thing i picked up i picked up um a planting box you know, I just try to record video for all of all of now, and all of a sudden the video thing just died. I picked up planting box. So basically, I've touched two Nigerians storages today. No joke. I don't touch them today. I don't need to mention their name, but people are really going through a hard life over here. You understand? Edmond Miwal America. Edmond Miwal America. You know, oh, oh, you you send the words to me. The, you know, my brother have not sent me money. I have called and this and this and this. All of them are stingy. They are not stingy. They are struggling. They are struggling. Hard life. Real hard life for here. You understand? Well, you know, there's no way. There's no way I always tell people, like, you know, no matter what it is in Africa, there's no way you're just going to be homeless unless you come from a different city. In Nigeria. Maybe you are like a newcomer in that environment. And of all things, even if you are not a newcomer, that means say maybe something don't they happen upstairs. Your family abandon you because you have mental problems. Which I'm not making fun of. For I'm being real with you. That's the only time you go to the position where we say you go there. somehow, somehow. That's how you be in a position whereby you say so you are homeless. But no matter what, in Africa we got this thing. Even if not ten people will not go stay for one bedroom, even beggar on the streets after they are done begging at night, they will go home or go to one hunt and go sleep. In a land whereby even with the government, you understand the government is jacked up. Even the lands where government own, I go go states, I go go places out of touristic state for Ninja. People go build houses. They go there, they go they do business. They go they live there for free. You are living there for free as a black person. You are not thinking about the day the government will come pack everybody off the street to claim their land. The owner will come one day. So don't just sit there, they pack money, they put for, in, for inside your store and, say, and saying that you, are, you own a corner store. Save your money and use it for something tangible in your life. Life is not easy anywhere in the world. It's all about surviving. The people where they for America, the reason why they know they tell you they're they, they, they up to where they go through. Because they're embarrassed. They are embarrassed. They've been here for more than 10 years and they've been here for more than 15 years. They don't have nothing to show for it. It's an embarrassment. They don't have property here. They don't have nothing in Africa. You think, say, you know, the way they have your haunts in your village. I've been at your small house in your village. I've been at your, in your mansion where you get for longer. You think that so people they build houses for here? Make I tell you now. You know, they work like that. Nobody gets anything for here. Everything I rent. It's either rent or mortgages. Straight up. And some people have been paying for rent. They've been paying for mortgages now for more than for more than 43 years. You understand? For the ones that think say at the TA American are bad. I'm not saying America is bad. I'm saying that it's a system. You have to be ready for it. I'm not saying that you should not come home. You can come. I even want you to come because if you come, 
It will be easier for me. You understand? So I won't have to work that much. You will have to pay some of that bill. Wait, wait me to the carry. Make with the pay the bills together. You know what when I talk? The more people America give you, sir, that is better for me. Because I won't have to work over time. You can come build America because your talent and your education, all those things where you don't gain. It they useless. It's not useful in that country. It's not useful in Africa. So we need you to come to America so we can come build this place. Come build that system because they work around the system. Life is tough for even people that are living here, people that belong here, people that are citizens. Talking of black people, life is tough for black people abroad. They are not really welcome. They are just tolerant. They are just, they're just hanging out. They're just trying whatever it is to make it. As a black person, talk less of you as an immigrant. It's a tough life, you as an African. So to me, it is better that we start waking up now. You know, and don't say, uh, Privy Kedis, you're saying that you're an enemy of progress. Because I'm telling you to, to, to let us stand up against our leaders. To, to, because I'm telling you to let us stand and, and, and stand up for our rights. You understand what I'm saying? I'm an enemy of progress because you want to go become a rule. You want to go become, you know, as made. I've been a husband for another man's country when you can build your home. We have what it takes. We are very talented. We are gifted. Why not use this opportunity to build ourselves rather than just building other nations and all these politicians with, with their dear. You go to the demo, you go to pose around. Then go to pose, then go to get, then get, then get. You know, be so. Oh God, don't they, no, they pose. You come here, you can't even stay here for one week, self. Maximum three weeks, you don't pack your load, you don't go back to Africa. But for you to structure the thing where you see for here, you know, feed Duam for your hometown. You understand? The only thing I have to say for America, be say, yes, America have that system that they created that works for certain people, but not everybody. I have percentage of people abroad, they are poor. They are very, very poor. They don't have savings. They don't have money because they're living on loans. The banks owns it all. But at least the government is doing certain things to make our life a little bit convenient. You understand? So that convenience, if we are able to transfer it to Africa, you, we will have even much of a better life. Because then you will know that, okay, you know what? I own my property. You understand? Maybe this one day, recession is every five years. Recession is every two years, every five years. People, eh, recession every day for here. Recession every day. Don't pay your rent for one month. Don't pay your mortgage for one, two months. You all that thing. You go just get recessed out of your house, out of your property. They don't care if you don't pay hundred thousand out of two hundred thousand. You will lose that property for life. You paid hundred thousand out of two hundred two hundred thousand dollars on the property, and all of a sudden you can't pay for two to three months, maximum six months. They will pack you out now. Eviction courts. They will carry that house, sell them to somebody else. The same thing with cars. I know they lie to you. You understand? They say they, 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 talk, they talk nonsense. First reality. Welcome to United States of America. Oh God, please, I beg, move out of the way. Make I show my people. Life in America. Please, I need you to move out of the way. Or you feel stand there, self. I go put your face for camera. Because I need to show them. This is real life. Real life out here. Make we start. You done ready? Where, the, the, where this light day? You see all this? Now somebody low though. Where they park for inside their house. They don't lost everything. You see everything for there? I see the CM. Now somebody load be that. Eviction. Brother and sister, no day here to come help you pack. You know, everything. You see him for here. You see him. I they come oh. I they come. Make a step down. Everything there for here. I don't pack more than eight storages today. Make now they see. So when they go out, oh. You see him for here. Now somebody furnish up be that. I don't pick up plantain box for here, plantain box for people who, 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 who like to shop plantain. You know, come shop plantain with me. Now somebody like they here. Ah, I got with this one where you put for road. Shy, shy, shy. They cannot break my bottle. Hey, bo, it's your guinea. Oh, God. <laughs> and I don't see for here. Now somebody like you see oh, for here, for America. Now, now regular thing. Last weekend, I did about 15 storages of people that became homeless. You understand? Somebody would tell me, say, it's because they didn't plan their life right. Even people that plan their life right here, now struggle every day. Your brother is not stingy. Your sister is not stingy. It's not that they don't want to send you money. They want to send you money. They want you to have a good life. They want you to come to America. It's not because they don't care about you. It is because they're having a real hard life. 
real, real tough life. You know easy. You know easy out here. Don't let anybody lie to you. Forget all those people where they come your town. They demo. They demolistic. They show they, they shakara. Forget all those people where, where go save money. You go take them five years to save money. To show up. And the next time you see them again is another five years. Forget those people. Now tough life. So at the end of the day, my point is very simple. There is no nation, not a single one, on the face of the planet that does not have a setback. Every nation on the face of the heart have got somewhat of a setback. They've got their problems. But what makes a great nation is when that nation recognizes its problem. And the citizen and the government gets up and stand up and say, you know what, we've got issues. Let's face our problem. If you are watching me right now, really appreciate if you can share this video. Let's face our problem. We know say we get problem. Let's write those problems down and start solving each one of the problem one by one. Not for us to be abandoning our responsibility and expecting somebody to come save us. Are you waiting for Jesus? Are you waiting for rapture? Are you waiting for the prophet to come and save you out of your problem? When everything 